to SmackDown Live at the show. And of course, this is another edition of WWE at the shows. And this is Wrestle with Adherence Podcast. And uh, we on the road to WWE TLC. And if you haven't already, go check out all the stuff down below as always. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below also. And also, you can subscribe over here. And check out the I for channels as always. And also, check out the latest video, which is Raw at the show. And also, don't forget to... Comment down below your favorite is wrong. No, 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 no. Let's smack down. And uh, what are you looking forward to at WWE TLC? And uh, further ado, this is Smackdown Live at the show, boy, boy. And uh, at the Raw, it definitely has. And I think it's going to be better. I think everyone knew it was going to be better. I mean, like, the trailer leading what was going to happen. We all were like, yes, it looks so exciting. So, you know, let's get into it, shall we? Um, and SmackDown was up with Paige coming to the ring. She introduces SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch. Becky takes the Mikey fan and starts chanting her name. Becky says, you need time just too much time away when you're the hottest thing in the industry. Becky talks about how she wanted to fight as Survivor Series, but she was stopped. She goes on and says she's done watching because she's putting herself back in the game. Becky will st still wants to face a Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey. Now that she can, she calls out Charlotte Flair to the ring. Um, we see highlights of Flair's match, but around the rouse as she heads to the ring. Becky says that Charlotte came pretty close to giving Ronda the beating she could have, but had it been Becky, Rousey would not be standing the next day. She also says it took Flair telling her to find her aggressive, aggression, aggression, aggression. There we go. Um, and Charlotte says she is just being herself. Becky carves Charlotte a bootleg um, who went from copying her old man to copying the man. Flair says Naya must have knocked her silly lunches just riding her coattails. They almost get in a fight but Paige keeps them apart. The GM books Flair versus Lynch at TLC in a TLC match which I'm very pumped for because the women need more awesome insane matches so I'm pumped. Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Zena, 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 Vega, and the Iconics come out to the stage. Raul speaks for the group by saying they are insulted. Naomi, Asuka, Carmella, and Na La Na 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 come out too. And Becky says she will knock all of their heads off if they want some. Paige books a better rule and with every woman on the roster. The winner will be added to the WWE. It's a TLC match to the TLC match. That's what I was trying to say. The Usos versus the bar. The Usos won. AJ Styles responds to Daniel Bryan. Styles says he is more upset about how he lost the title than actually losing it. And shows the clip of Bryan turning heel and attacking him after the match. He says he knows what it's like to want something bad enough to cheat. But the attack after the match is what he can't take. He calls out Bryan because he doesn't want to wait until TLC. But he knows Bryan is not in the building. Styles says he never missed a day while he was champion and rips Brian for not being at the show tonight or this past week shows. Wow, what was that? That's weird. I mean, like, and they just changed the title and like now they're just not wanting to show the champion. Weird. Alright, Nakamura versus Rusev. Nakamura attacks Rusev before their match can begin. He hits a couple Kalaya, Kachayas. I never can say that. Before the officials make him leave so they can check on Rusev. No contest, obviously. Um, I'm ready for that feud, though. I think we need it. Okay, now Spanta roster is on the stage to welcome Jeff Hardy as he celebrates 20 years as a WWE superstar. Jeff thanks WWE Universe for being by staff for 20 years through the highs and the lows. Some of Joe's music hits and he comes to the out to interrupt. Joe says the beauty pack is really great, but Jeff probably doesn't remember most of it. Joe says seeing Jeff's career be celebrated makes him sick because he has everyone down. He has let everyone down time and time again. Hardy says Joe won't ruin his parade and he challenges Joe to get in the rain. Joe walks off and laughs. We're kind of ready for this. If you do, I think it'll be great. And I'm so itchy right now. Jeez. Alright, Kingston versus The Miz. Um, Kingston won. Randy Warren is out the break and he says he has the mask who, um, that he stole from Ring Mysterio last week, like a trophy. Um, he says people have described his action in a lot of ways, but he will call them um, at the at at e I cannot say that word. I'm sorry. I can spell it, but I can't say it. <laughs> Wharton doesn't care about the history of masses and lucha limbery. Um, and he did what he did to um, embarrass Ray. And it doesn't take long for Missouri to come out. 
Um, but he has a neck brace on his neck. Um, he meets Orton in the house when they start brawling. Orton takes control and right, loops him into the barricade a few times. Ray hits a few kicks to leg in the 619 when he get, they get in the ring. Um, Asura grabs the chair but Orton hits him with a DDT before he can use it. Randy pulls the chair to Ray, uh, Ray's neck and r rams it into the stove steps. So officials and producers come out to help as we head to the break. Women's Battle Royal. Oshko won it once it's on, earns a spot in the TLC match. The show ends with Oscar posing in while Charlotte and Becky Lynch look on the, from ringside, rating 80 out of 80. Austin show and matches as you look on to WWE TLC. And that is all I got to say for SmackDown Live after the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And check out all the Southern Bowl Interstable as always. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. And also hit it over here. Check the latest video over here, which is raw as I And also check the on the channel as always. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. And comment down below your fans, SmackDown Live levels. What in SmackDown Live was? What you looking forward to? WWE TLC, and I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully, maybe we get like a Raven Stewart versus Randy Orton, but like either way, like I love Orton and Ray. If you didn't, so I'm very pumped for that, and I'm pumped for the women's triple threat match in a TLC match. It's gonna be so awesome. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys soon. And until then, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.